Welcome to you all. This is the signed number review. So we're going to talk about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing with negatives and positive numbers. We're also going to do a review of the order of operations as we go along. Now you are allowed a calculator in this course, but you also need to be smarter than your calculator. Uh, you should have a good idea of what kind of answers to expect. Uh, when we get to where we're working big word problems and negatives start to come involved and you accidentally calculate that you have negative 36 coins in a jar, you've got some problems. So you can't blindly trust your calculator. You have to have an understanding of what's going on. So just um, as a review, if we are adding two integers, these are just signed numbers, either positives or negatives, but not fractions. Okay, well, if you're adding two numbers together with the same sign, okay, so either you are adding a positive and a positive or you're adding a negative and a negative, either way. What you do is you add the absolute values of the numbers. That means the absolute value is the uh, number without a sign. So the symbol we use for absolute value are two straight lines. If I ask you for the absolute value of two, it is two. The absolute value of negative two is also two. You take whatever's inside and you make it positive. If it's already positive, it stays positive. That's what we mean by absolute value. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Um, we add the absolute values of the numbers and then use the common sign as the sign of the sum. The answer to an addition problem is a sum. So if I, right here, I'm adding two negative numbers, negative six plus negative six. So they have the same sign. So I add the absolute values of them. So that would be six plus six, which is 12. And then the answer has the same sign as these two things that I'm adding together. So this is going to be negative 12 because both of these were negative. Here, nine plus 17. Now you might think this is the same type of problem you've been working forever, and it is. It's just that these are both positive numbers. And just because you didn't know the rule that you were adding things with the same sign doesn't mean you weren't using it. So nine plus seven is 16. The absolute value of nine is nine. The absolute value of seven is seven. Add them together, you get 16. They're both positive, so your answer is positive. Now, we don't generally write our positive signs. Occasionally we will when we want to make something very obvious that it's positive or something like that, but if there's not a, a sign there, it's assumed to be a positive number. Negative 5 plus negative 10. The absolute value of negative 5 would be 5. The absolute value of 10 is 10. 5 plus 10 is 15. These are both negative numbers. So your answer is also negative. Okay, now what do we do if we're gonna add two things with unlike signs? So we are adding a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, doesn't matter which way it goes. What we do is we subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. And then we're gonna use the sign of whichever one was larger, whichever absolute value was larger, that's the sign that we're gonna use for our answer. So if we look at these next problems, I have negative three plus seven. The absolute value of negative three is three. The absolute value of seven is seven. And we subtract in what we would consider a normal order. Seven minus three is four, okay? So we subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. We've done that. The smaller from the larger, and we got that. Now we figure out what the sign that we're going to use is the one that the absolute value, the larger absolute value, whatever its original sign is, that's the sign that we use. Our larger absolute value here is 7. The 7 was positive, so our answer is positive. Now compare that to here. 6 plus negative 12. The absolute value of 6 is 6. The absolute value of negative 12 is positive 12. 
subtract the smaller from the larger. 12 minus 6 is 6. Our larger absolute value came from here. It was negative, so this is negative. Okay, so you find the absolute values, you subtract them, and then whichever, whatever the sign was on your larger absolute value, that's the sign of your answer. Let's look at 12 plus negative 7. The absolute value of 12 is 12. The absolute value of negative 7 is 7. Subtract the smaller from the larger. 12 minus 7 is 5. And then my larger absolute value was the 12. The 12 is positive, so my answer is positive. 5 plus negative 9. The absolute value of 5 is 5. The absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Subtract the smaller from the larger. 9 minus 5 is 4. The larger absolute value was 9. Its original sign was a negative, so my answer is negative. And we will go on to subtracting integers in the next part.